Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to show you how to pay a credit card invoice in QuickBooks Desktop. So I'll be using Premiere, but the process is the same with QuickBooks Pro. So how to pay your credit card invoice is going to depend on whether or not you reconcile your account. So first, let's assume that you're going to reconcile your credit card account. So you receive the statement, you're going to reconcile the account. Once you reconcile it, then QuickBooks will actually prompt you to pay the amount. So let's quickly go through that. Now we're not going to go through the reconciliation itself in any detail um, because there is a separate lesson for that. If you just want to Google uh, fit small business uh, reconcile credit cards, you should come up with that article. Okay, so we received our statement. We're going to reconcile our credit card account. Once we get through with this, I'll show you how to how to pay it without doing a reconciliation. So my credit card account, the ending balance, I'm looking at my bank statement here, my credit card statement, the ending balance is 101.21. Okay, this is the screen that popped up for me. So I chose my credit card account, ending balance 101.21. Okay, so this is the uh, reconciliation screen. So We've got two amounts in QuickBooks. I see that they're on my bank statement, so I'm just going to check them off. Down here it says we're uh, reconciled, so I'm going to say reconcile now. Again, if you're not familiar with the reconciliation process, we do have uh, separate tutorials for that. So once I click reconcile now, it pops up and asks me if I want to make a payment, and I have two choices here. So I can write a check right now. Or I can enter a bill, and then that bill will show up in my unpaid bills list, and I can pay it with a check later. So those are my two choices. Um, so if I hit a, if I hit write a check, uh, write a check for payment now, it'll just go through a normal check process. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is just like writing any other check now. It's coming from our company checking account. It filled in the amount. Obviously, if you want to pay a smaller amount, you can do that. Um, here is the key. So under the expense item, it's putting the account as my credit card. So it's actually not, that's not an expense account at all, is it? That's a liability account. Okay, so let's just see so my credit card is a credit card account it's a liability account that's what you want your check to go to and I think that's probably what causes most of the confusion when people are trying to determine how to pay their credit card invoice so you want to write a check but you want to write that check to the credit card liability account okay so we could kick we could uh, click save and close and our credit card would be paid but let's go ahead and exit out of here Okay, and let's do it the other way. So let's go back to reconcile. Um, credit card. This time we don't have any transactions. So I'll just keep it at 101.21. Continue. So here we're in balance again, so we can click reconcile now. Okay, and again, it's asking us, do you want to pay this credit card invoice? This time, let's say enter a bill payment for later. Okay, so the bill is to my credit card. So this might be Bank of America, Visa, whatever you have set up for the vendor for your credit card. Then it's the amount. And again, <clears throat> the account it goes to is the my credit card liability account this is your credit card liability account okay uh, notice here we're going to put that the due date is looks like 30 days after the date of the invoice and so this isn't going to pay the bill this is just going to set up an unpaid bill so that you're reminded to pay it later okay so let's go ahead and hit save and close okay so now that created a bill but now we're going to have to actually pay it so we've created the bill now we're going to pay the bill and of course you'll want to do this when you're uh, 
you'll do this when you're not when you reconcile the account but you're not ready to actually pay it yet you've created the bill now when you're ready to pay it you can go in here to your pay bill screen there's the payment right there 10121 uh, you're paying it with a check to be printed later company checking account pay selected bills okay excellent so that's the way you pay a credit card invoice if you're going to reconcile the account. If you're not reconciling the account, which obviously I highly recommend you should be reconciling it every month, but if you're not, that's fine. Obviously, you still need to write a check to pay off your credit card. You can do that, no problem. Um, if you're not reconciling an account, just go straight to write checks. Okay, it's coming out of your checking account. Pay to the order of your credit card company. Uh, whatever amount. Whatever amount you want to make it for, we'll just do the 101.23 again, or 101.21, I think it was. Okay, and the key again is right here. It doesn't go to any sort of expense account. It goes to your liability account, my credit card. So this is a credit card liability account. Okay, you can hit save and close, or you can print it now. Um, you could click it to print later. So just like you would print any other check. Okay, easiest way to be would just be to print it right now. Okay, give it a check number. I can make sure this check number matches whatever you're sticking in your printer. Click OK, and it'll print it. There you go. That's how you pay your credit card invoice in QuickBooks Desktop. I hope this was helpful.